Returning to work, in-person meetings, and gatherings can be exciting. But for some, returning to work can be difficult and can provoke anxiety. It can be especially difficult for people with disabilities. Is your workplace accessible and welcoming to employees with disabilities? Here are some things that you can do to accommodate people with disabilities as we return to in-person workplace operations. Welcome the employee back. Send out official notifications on the organization's plans to reopen. Provide a short explanation of changes that have occurred and highlight the things that have been implemented to keep people safe and healthy while at work. Be sure to also include information about vaccination requirements and options for employees who are not fully vaccinated. Consider a phased approach. Initially, returning to work as if nothing has changed can be uncomfortable and make people nervous. Consider a phased approach to returning company operations back to normal. This could include allowing people to work part-time from the office, flexible leave policies, encouraging people to take their breaks, and gradually lessening restrictions related to COVID. Be flexible. Employees have the right to disclose that they have a disability and request reasonable accommodations related to their disability at any time. When employees request accommodations, continue to be flexible, open to new ideas and doing things differently. After all, COVID has shown a number of us just how flexible our business models can be. Show support. A truly inclusive work environment is one where leadership reaches out to employees proactively to understand individual needs. Encourage managers to reach out to their direct reports to create return to work plans that meet individual as well as organizational needs. Where possible, avoid imposing generic rules. Foster a culture of acceptance and understanding. People with disabilities often have a number of illnesses and conditions that may prevent them from being safely vaccinated. Therefore, some people with disabilities may choose to continue to wear a mask at work and in public. Actively engage and foster a culture of acceptance of everyone's personal protective preferences. Some disabilities may be best accommodated by the availability of specialty supplies. For example, purchasing and encouraging non-vaccinated employees to wear clear, deaf-friendly masks helps individuals with hearing disabilities understand and better communicate with those around them. Remember that all people, regardless of disability, have been challenged by COVID. Due to COVID, some people may have new disabilities, experience mental health challenges, or have been deeply impacted in other ways, making returning to normal a process. It's important to continue to follow local return to work guidance, while also remaining innovative, creative, and flexible for accommodating people with disabilities and their return to work experience. For more information, visit these websites, 